here we are with the um, gameplay director of Batman Arkham Origins, Mike um, McIntyre. Yeah. Mike McIntyre. So tell us, Mike, um, this is a, this game is called Origins, Arkham Origins. So will be any relation with the events that happened on previous games that have a, a direct impact with the plot of, of this game? Well, Arkham Origins is clearly leading up to Arkham Asylum and eventually Arkham City. And so for fans who have played those two games, there will be small things in the in the game, in the story, that they will make them realize where things are going. Uh, yes, definitely. Oh, great. So, talking about the previous games, one of those things that, that the audience loved was uh, Easter eggs and reference to to, to the Batman universe. Will we be able to see some of, of those things in this game? Uh, yes, we have a lot of uh, Batman fans, fans of the comics and, uh, and uh, the previous games that uh, have found all kinds of little things that they, have, that, that they can sneak in that the player can find if they choose to explore Gotham and, and find these things. Oh, great. So, is there any particular reason why you and Warner Bros. Montreal decided to work on Arkham Origins? Uh, I think it was uh, there's an opportunity that was there. It was uh, people loved the Arkham games, and it seemed like it was a good time for for a new one. And we would we were pretty well. We were very excited about uh, this opportunity, and pretty confident that we would be able to deliver something worthy of the the first two games. And so here we are. We decided to do an origin story, and uh, we, I think we brought a lot of cool little twists uh, to the game. And I think players are going to be very pleased that there's another Arkham game out for them to play. All right. So. Uh, another of the um, of the great features of, of the the previous games was the combat system. So um, for the demo that we that we can watch recently, we noticed that it's pretty similar. So which elements did you try to keep from previous games that were successful, and which ones uh, did you try to improve? Well, basically, the uh, the core of the fighting system is the same because it had already worked uh, very well. And so, we the primary thing we wanted to do was to create new enemies that ask the player to fight a little differently. So, I'd like to add a little more depth and breadth to the the combat. Uh, we changed his uh, his idle animation to make him feel more uh, young and engaged with the fight. And of course, we have new uh, new moves that are associated with the new enemies and all of our boss fights that really uh, push and stretch and test the the combat system. All right. So, why did you choose to make a, a prequel instead of a sequel? I think there's a there's a lot of opportunities in a prequel. Like it's. It's narratively very interesting to start with a hero that has a lot to learn and has room to grow. And so through our story, he can change and learn things and adapt, which is very interesting. And also, it's uh, allowed us to be in a time when uh, Batman was still learning how to protect Gotham. And so the player can participate in that. They can explore Gotham, try to stop crimes, solve crimes. They can go back to the Batcave to train and to talk to Alfred. And uh, it opened up a lot of opportunities for us that created a, a familiar but fresh game experience for players. Uh, sure. So, uh, can you can you talk us about the um, multiplayer? Uh, yes, the multiplayer is developed by another studio, uh, Splash Damage, and uh, it's a very cool addition to uh, to the Arkham franchise. Uh, they came up with a great idea, which was a three-way fight between Joker and his gang, Bane and his gang, and Batman and Robin. And so players take one of these roles, and uh, if they're in part of one of the, the gangs, they're fighting for territory and uh, trying to become the boss of that gang so that they can play Joker or Bane. And all the while, there are two other players playing Batman and Robin who are trying to take everybody out. And it creates a very interesting predator online kind of feeling where either you're a, uh, a thug who's on the lookout for Batman and Robin, or you are Batman and Robin trying to take out all these guys with guns and powerful gadgets and weapons and trying to use shadows and gargoyles to your advantage. Uh, great. So, do you like to think of, of this as, as a trilogy? You know, the Arkham trilogy with Arkham City and Arkham Origins and, and the other game? I would say not really. Like uh, we haven't been thinking of it that way. I know we are the third game in the series, but because it's a prequel, it's more established the fact that the Arkham universe is something that could continue to do more games if, if players uh, uh, have a demand for it. So it's uh, 
it's something that where we've just created a new game in that same universe. Oh, great. So, are there any plans to bring Arkham Origins to the next generation? We have no plans uh, in line for that now. We definitely wanted to stay focused on current generation consoles from the very time that we started the project. And for now, that's, uh, that's all we have plans for. All right. And talking about the, um, the extension of the game, uh, so how long will be will be you releasing DLCs for the game? Are, are there any estimate? Uh, we don't we don't have any estimates for uh, DLC right now. I mean, of course, we have the launch DLC of Deathstroke, um, and there will be that we do have plans to do something for DLC. Exactly when and what it'll be has not been fully announced yet. Yeah. Well. That will be all, and we're so happy to talk to you and watch the game, and we are very excited. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mikey.